We've just launched a new feature called the Dark Pool Indicator at Spot Gamma. And what this does is it shows you the amount of activity taking place in off exchange venues called dark pools. Now, if you really want to dig into what the dark pool information is and how we gather this information, we encourage you to read the full FAQ. If you go to support.spotgamma.com, just type in dark pool, uh, you'll see our whole uh, set of instructions and detailed analysis of what the dark pool information is, as well as some statistics to back up some of the things we're going to say here. Now, what you find is if you look into the statistics around dark pools, when the reading that you see on your screen here, like a 43 or a 47, or in this case for Zion, a 57, when that reading is above 45, that indicates that funds and large institutions may be buying this stock in dark pools. Now, the reason that they may trade in dark pools is because they're trying to build a position and they don't want to give away that information by trading on a public exchange like the New York or the NASDAQ. And sometimes when they are trading through their bank algorithms like a VWAP order or some other type of order, the banks will often try to direct that large order flow into the dark pool because they feel like they can get a better price oftentimes by using that off exchange venue. Now, again, support.spotgamma.com, just type in dark pool and you can get a whole bunch more information about this. In terms of the dashboard, though, we've set up some pretty unique features. First, if you see, we have this five day DPI. So this is the rolling five-day average of dark pool volume. Oftentimes, you know, on a single day basis, a large fund may come in or other entity may come in and really skew the dark pool volume up or down. And that's really not enough to be statistically relevant. But if you look at a five-day rolling average, like in this case of Zion, you can see that there's 56% seems like a pretty strong number. And so this may be a stock that is interesting to look at in terms of these buying or selling flows from big funds. We also include a 52 week high and low. And so now it's kind of interesting maybe to look for a name that has strong dark pool buying, again, a reading above 45, that is maybe near a 52 week low, right? That may indicate that a bottom is coming in. Now the flip side of this indicator is that if you look, the stats show that a reading under 35 can often mean that the stock is going to face selling pressure. So if you find a stock that is maybe at a 52-week high with a DPI reading of 35, that can tell you that, hey, funds are now selling this thing, right? Or they're not interested. Obviously, it doesn't have to be at a 52-week high or 52-week low. It's simply to, an example of how you may look to use this information. So if you click these two filter buttons, what you'll find is that we actually filter this information out for you. So if you're looking for some dark pool readings that are bullish, Click this filter button, and this will show you all stocks that have a five-day and today's DPI over 45, and then you can flip to a bearish uh, filter, which shows you under 35. So we're trying to make it very easy for you to parse through this information and find this data. The other column, which is unique that we include, is this percent DPI volume. Now, what this does is it tells you how much dark pool volume is taking place versus all exchanges. But sometimes we even see something like 100 shares print in a dark pool and the stock only trades 500 shares across all exchanges. So it has a great dark pool reading. And that's not really obviously statistically relevant. So that's what this percent DPI volume is meant to show you. Here's what we call the lit volume. Uh, so you get an idea of exactly what the volume is for the stock across all exchanges, you know, New York, NASDAQ, ARCA, et cetera. Uh, you can see the last close. So this is last night's close. We're currently recording this video before the market is open. So when the market is open, this current price will show you the last price of the stock. If you want to search for a specific name, you can simply come into the symbol field, type in say Apple, and you can see exactly what the dark pool volume is for that stock. Now we've also included a pretty neat feature which breaks things down by sector. And we think this is particularly interesting now with all the sort of shifts in policies, you know, support from federal stimulus and tax packages and infrastructure packages, et cetera, to see how things are changing across the landscape of sectors. So, for instance, looking here, you can see that there's a pretty strong reading in the transportation sector. If you were to scroll over to, say, public utilities are maybe a little bit weaker. Basic industries are a little bit weaker. So you can get an idea of maybe where flows are coming in from a sector uh, on an average sector basis. So if you go to spotgamma.com and you get a free five-day trial, you can try out this dark pool page. 
Uh, there's also, again, a whole bunch of information on the FAC, which is available to everybody at support.spotgamma.com. We also have our Equity Hub indicator. And if you get the free five-day trial, uh, we also send out two daily notes every single day, which analyze the markets for you, particularly the index and the index options setup. If you have any questions, please send us a note at info at spotgamma.com. You can also reach us at spotgamma on Twitter. Thanks.